Hey everybody, Taylor with KC here, and in this video, we're gonna be discussing the legality of LED light bars and other LED lights. Now, we get asked all the time, hey, are LED light bars legal? And almost across the board, it is legal to mount an LED light bar or other lights, but there's certain regulations about when you can use it and some other guidelines that go along with that. Now, this topic is one of those that's super hard to answer with a lot of details, just because it depends on the certain regulations of the state that you live in. So for that, we're gonna start with some of the do's and then some of the don'ts pertaining to their legality of LED light bars and LED lights. We have all seen that guy driving down the road with his light bars going full freaking blaze, burning your retinas to an absolute crisp. PSA, don't be that guy. No matter what, if you're on the roads and you have people coming at you, make sure that you're not causing an unsafe situation where you're blinding the driver of another vehicle barreling towards you. It's for both your safety and for their safety. Heck, even if you're off-road and you have another Jeep, side-by-side -side, truck, whatever it is coming at you, it's pretty much common courtesy to make sure that you turn all of your super bright lights off for at least a few seconds while they pass. Now, in general, in most states, it is illegal to have non-street legal lights turned on when you're on the public roadway system, like your LED light bar. However, unfortunately, some states don't explicitly state this in their regulations, so it's up to all of us in the off-road community to set the standard for this. And because each state has their own regulations about general auxiliary lights and LED light bars, it's up to you to know your state's regulations and abide by them. So for the don'ts, it's really simple. Just don't be that guy. Okay, so on to the set of things that are generally okay. Let's suppose that you just went out and you bought yourself a brand new shiny pair of SAE street legal lights, just like our Gravity LED Pro 6 lights in the driving beam pattern. Now, just as a quick aside, if you guys are interested in learning more about this product, just go ahead and check out the tag up here in the top corner. I put the website link there so you can learn more about those lights. Now, these SAE street legal lights are legal to use on the roadway, but with some conditions attached to that. So for a driving beam light that's SAE street legal, you're gonna to wanna to use those in conjunction with your high beams. So this means that as you're driving on the highway at night, there's nobody coming at you, you're free to have those auxiliary lights turned on, but the moment that you have somebody coming towards you, you're gonna to wanna to flip those auxiliary lights off and go back to your low beams just like you normally would. Now, on the flip side of that, you have fog beams. A true SAE street legal fog beam is actually meant to be used in conjunction with your low beams. Other rules about SAE and ECE lights have to do with how many there are and where they're mounted. Some states have rules about the number of auxiliary lights that you can have on your vehicle that are forward facing, regardless of whether or not they are street legal or off-road use only. Now, many states also have rules about the mounting heights of street legal lights, specifically driving beam lights. So say, for example, you have a nice set of driving beam SAE street legal lights and you wanna mount them above your roof or you wanna mount them on your A pillars, that's not gonna be okay to use on the public roadway system. A good general rule of thumb is that these driving beam lights have to be mounted in line with or below your headlights. So generally just stick with mounting those driving beam lights right below your headlights and you're gonna be okay. So now onto the legality of off-road use only lights. Not all states are gonna require this, but there are certainly some states out there that require you to have these off-road use only lights completely covered up and completely blacked out. California, for example, is one of those states, and this is why that some of our products like our Pro 6 lights, our LZR lights, our classic daylighter, come with covers included in the kits to make sure that you can completely cover those lights to make sure no light is getting through on the public roadways. Now, like I mentioned, not all states are gonna require this. It depends on the state that you live in, but it never hurts to be driving down the highway with that classic smiley face front and center on your vehicle. So when it comes to the question of are LED light bars legal, it's up to you to know your state's regulations. Now that said, in the description below, we went ahead and put a link to a blog article on our website that has a ton more links that are gonna be really helpful if you're interested in nerding out about these laws. 
Now, in general, just don't be that guy. Stick with the basics. Don't be the person that's blinding oncoming traffic and that's gonna go a long ways for you. If anyone has any other questions about auxiliary or off-road lights, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We're doing our best to do more videos focusing on some of the most frequently asked questions that we get, so we're happy to cover any topics that you guys want us to cover. Just leave them below. Feel free to check out some more of our videos. This one right here is one that's recommended for you by YouTube, and this one right here is one of our most recent uploads. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope everybody's staying happy, staying healthy, and staying safe at home.